the first thing I'm gonna work on is the cockpit and the cockpit sits in here and the reason I chose to work on that is because I thought it needed a little bit more modification so I'm gonna show that and then we'll move on it comes it doesn't quite fit and the main reason for that is that um, we have the servo and this linkage and so if you get the cockpit and you try to stick it in there you'll notice that the rear part of the cockpit right here actually wants to sit on top of the servo so what you have to do is do some cutting and in my case what I found was that if I cut at the front it was a little bit longer say about that long cut at the front and set this in there it fits a lot better or is a look that looks something like that obviously in the front right here um, that's not gonna work because the the bubble uh, needs to get locked in that spot right there what I had to do is uh, trim the sides of the canopy just enough to match the outline of, of that. And then as I said, I cut up the front of this. And what I wanted to do is sort of have the canopy sit inside the, the bubble glass. And I cut off the front and added this really thin piece of G10. And the reason for that was if you can see right here, the piece that was in the front was fairly thick and so the cockpit wouldn't sit in there because this top section right here would interfere with the glass. So I just cut that off and added a really thin piece of G10. And so the result is now with that and the modification in the front, so I cut the front and modified it a little bit so that I angle this down. With that modification, what's going to happen is that the tub right here is going to slide in and sit right on the front there and so you can see what that looks like um, and it's pretty much at the top because I, like I said there is that servo that sits right here when the cockpit is installed so once that's done the next thing was to add a piece of wood underneath the back flap because this back flap right here was a little bit flimsy. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna add a piece of support under here to sit inside the, the bubble bubble top and so and screw that down and so that what happens is the canopy is supported, I mean the cockpit supported from the front, from the bucket right here, and from the bucket right here. And that way it sits in there, and my thoughts are that. Um, I'm gonna add a support right here so maybe from about here and then cover this section in the back and what's gonna happen is when you want to take out the cockpit all you got to do is sort of slide it back just enough and then you know this drops out just kind of like that so that's my plan and I'll show you once that's done and then that way the canopy will sit in there and it'll be removable. The other reason why I like that is because just standard, the, the rear pilot kind of sits at a weird angle, like lower down. So if I was to match the tub with the line of the canopy, you see that it looks like this guy is kind of recessed. So what I needed to do is raise it up a little bit, give it more of a scale look. And that means that you can see that there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a, lift required in the back so I'll do that and I'll come back with the results so here's a cockpit and how I decided to do it is um, I cut a little bit more than I wanted and you can see there's a gap there but not to worry because once this is in place you don't get to see it um, but anyways so what I wound up doing is getting a piece of wood and epoxying it to the back here and then there's three screws that then uh, hold the canopy so there's a lip I can show it on the top here and you can see that lip there I just added a piece of wood on the back to stiffen it and added epoxy in here and so with that piece of wood and the epoxy was nice and stiff and then the system that I came up with is because I want the cockpit to be removable is that you have these screws and you can see there's a gap between this edge right here and this and what that does is when you want to take off the cockpit because in the front it's just uh, if you remember this piece of G10 is just a lip and so <clears throat> these three screws come off cockpit slides back the front edge unclips from 
the G10 and you can pull this whole thing out. So there's That's a cockpit section and you can see, I think it fits pretty well. Um, nice. So we're back at the cockpit and as a final step you'll see that um, I had to dremel out the cockpit so that the uh, servo that controls the steering could actually go through and I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So here's the cockpit and as you can see I have taken a little bit of a chunk out of the bottom and that's just to allow the servo, um, the steering servo to actually uh, get enough room to rotate freely. So what I'm going to show now is how the uh, this relief that we've cut allows the gear to actually uh, do its thing. So I'm going to retract the gear and you can see the wire comes up barely touches and that bracket with the servo actually clears the cockpit and that's what you want. I couldn't find a different way to actually get that clearance so um, that's uh, what it's gonna have to be. And the way down. Looks pretty good. I will probably encase that wire in in snakeskin um, just to protect it but that's what we're looking at for the cockpit.